Welcome everyone to Gamer Like Dad podcast episode nine. Me and the boys are here. Wow. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. Well, to my left, he needs a no introduction. It's the whole reason why this thing is even happening. And we are talking in your ear holes, which is something I used two episodes ago, and I really like it. It sounds great. Speaking into your ear holes. But to my left is none other than the Elder Geek Gamer. Elder Geek Gamer, here with his ear holes. Speaking into your ear holes, <laughs> who is uh, otherwise known as my father. Uh, biggest nerd geek collector video gamer uh, that I know. I'm so weird at 70 years old, nobody my age will have anything to do with me. But you guys will, so thank you so much. Absolutely. There's a community out there that loves you, loves loves the fact that you love video games, for sure. And to my right, again, is the best of us three. I also have ear holes. <laughs> <I'm Bentley. laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a requirement for this podcast. Although yes. these guys may, not, may wish they didn't have them, so they didn't have to hear me yammer on. Hear all the dad jokes. Yeah, that's true. The but, granddad jokes. <laughs> but once again, you're here to field them, right? Yes. So... Yeah, keep us in line, which, does it happen? I don't know. Nope. No, it doesn't. Guys, thank you for joining us for episode nine. Uh, there's a lot of things that happened this week. We're going to go get right started into what we've played over the last two weeks. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to Bentley. Bentley. What last, have I played? Yeah, last Let's two see. weeks. What have I played? I don't... Well... Oh, yes, I remember. Um, let's see, the only thing I've played as of recently is a little bit of Valheim. Yeah. With you, we did some multiplayer two nights. Xbox oh, Game yeah. Pass. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. Or, what, are, what are your initial thoughts on Valheim? Well, we're only in the beginning of the game. Still very bad. Still have a wooden shield and a stick that we hit <laughs> boars with. And we, usually they kill us more than we it's kill. It's pretty bad when just boars are killing us. Yeah. Um, we run and jump just to level up. Yeah, we just jump while we're cooking food so that we can level up our jump skill. We just sit there at our house that's and jump. We are. <laughs> but it's it's been fun. So yeah, that's about it though. It's it's an it's an oddly ugly, beautiful game. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those games where it's like not meant to be pretty, but at the same time it's pretty. It's prettier than Minecraft, but like rough, but yet yeah. there's like HDR lighting. Kind of. Yeah. Dad, you played it. We played it a little bit. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we need, we need to get together. Yeah. All three of us. Three of us. But mm -hmm. well, you tried to get together with me one night this week, and I was unavailable. He was hanging out with a woman. No. Mm. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a little, maybe a little more important. Yeah, yeah sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to revisit Valheim. Anything else, Bailey? That's about it. No. Me. You're, you're staying detoxed, and you're getting yourself ready, aren't you? I guess so. For a game we're going to talk about later. Yeah. yeah. Dad. I was going to play uh, Jedi Survivor, mm -hmm. and then the reviews hit, and then the mm -hmm. controversies hit, and then the I can't even hit, play it at 30 frames per second hit, and the it keeps crashing on me hit, and it crashed on me just before a, a, a critical moment in the game hit. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go back and play, um, what's the one? You see Fallen the, Order. Fallen Order. Mm -hmm. And I looked, and I only completed 6% of it, and my new... Um, Modus operandi. How's that for a word? Whoa. Is to be playing any right games that I play, unless they're multiplayer, to play them on story mode or easy mode. So I just trashed that 6% I was in and started it over on easy mode. And I'd forgotten what a gorgeous game it is. And the voice acting is stellar. Yeah. And where um, Jedi Survivor is now, Fallen Order was once. Mm -hmm. And so you can go back and play Fallen Order. We'll get into this more um, in more detail, but that's what I've been playing recently. I thought I was going to be playing Survivor, but no, I'm playing Fallen Order. Well, and I think that's, I'm guilty of the same thing. I've I've just passed so many games, you know, we've bought them and they just sit there. And then, mm. uh, you know, I've probably only played the first like intro to a game or first level of a game. And then, you know, you move on to the next thing. And I'm not even a game reviewer. I don't do this for a living. Like, you know, could you imagine everybody like the IGNs and all those guys out there that are actually reviewing games? Um, man, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So you're loving Fallen Order. Yeah. I remember Fallen Order. Did it release? We're going to talk about this, but did it release in a decent state? Do you remember when Fallen no, Order released? It did not. Okay. So then that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, again, it had issues back then, but they turned it around. Right. And that's one of the uh, hallmarks that you look up good game companies. They got a couple things they can do. They can abandon the project mm -hmm. 
they can try to fix it but not fix it, or they can do what it takes to really fix it. Bentley, were you going to say something? I was going to say, so you're just going to play fall in order, and then once they're fixed, once they've fixed the new one, yep. then you can go right into that Exactly. One. I think it's a That's great smart. game plan. Yeah. Yeah. Works I'm, for me. I mean, you lose out on a little bit of the talking with other people, but who else do you talk to playing certain games that you play with? Just you guys. Just you guys. <laughs> and then, of course, everybody out there who's listening, you know, sometimes when you're running a podcast and doing a YouTube channel, you kind of want to keep up with the current, you know. Mm-hmm. Sure. With, you know, with, is it the zeitgeist? Whatever it is, you know, the whatever the talk of the town is, you know. But we're so behind on games. Honestly, we could live a year or two in the past and be totally fine. Yeah. I think that's a great approach. Yeah. So, uh, Bentley, have you ever experienced anything like that where you've, uh, you know, gone back to a game because I don't know, kind of like what dad experienced. Yeah. I've had, I think I've had experiences where like I try to, I try a new game that's kind of similar to one of the old ones that I like. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like, eh, not good enough. And I go back <laughs> to the, to the one that I really liked. Like, Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of copycat games. Chris yeah. and I were talking about, uh, that recently. Something you know, like well, the game Stray that came out on the PS5. Yeah. And everybody and their brother had to have a cat game after that. Well, all these indie directs that just came out, right? Mm-hmm, They're right. all cat games. There's right. even a cat quilting game. Yeah. I do love cats. Yeah. You might like this one. I have to play Stray, honestly. I think yeah. we need to make one called Clean My Litter Box. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Ooh, it's, it's a little bit like a little to the left, you know, the, the game where you're straining things. Exactly. Except you get a pooper scooper. <laughs> you, it was like the arcade, you know, where they have the little arm. The claw. Out, the claw. The claw. The, the Toy cr- Story cr- reference. The craw. <laughs> the claw. Nice. nice. <laughs> I like it. I like anyway. it. Well, um, I, yeah, I feel you on that, uh, following up with you on Bentley on the playing, looking for games that are similar to the games that you love. So Stardew Valley is kind of like that, right? You put that on a pedestal as far as uh, a sim mm-hmm. farming game that yeah. everybody loves. It's probably one of the best ones out there. And so everybody's always like, well, it's kind of a Stardew Valley-like, you know? And so in my search for, you guys maybe know out there, uh, all you listeners and people watching, I'm kind of on my search for cozy games, and this is where I'm kind of landing. I just put a video on our channel, Bentley, of um, Homestead Arcana, which was not yeah. one of the ones I was looking forward to as far as indie games, but it came out on Game Pass, and I was like, hey, it's a cozy game. It's farming and magic. It, can it has be. a cool cat that talks to you. It has a cat that looks like the cat from um, Kiki's Delivery Service. You know? Nice. Uh, yeah, good reference. And, uh, you know, I was like, I'll try it. Tried it, and I was like, okay. You know, there's a big game coming out in a week. I'm not going to be playing this anymore, but uh, it was at least worth a try because it was on Game Pass. It was fun to watch. Yeah. It's a good demo. Which brings me to Game Pass games and, uh, and you know, Xbox and all of its, uh, you know, all the crap Xbox has been getting over this past all week. All of its failures. Yeah. Maybe some deserved. Maybe some, you know, people just, people, I don't want to have... I'm going to put on my conspiracy theory cap just for a second, but people love trashing Xbox. They like to sit there and hope... For Xbox to have this big win, but really when things just go wrong, they just, you know, I swear the install base is so big for PlayStation that mm-hmm. it just feels so one-sided out there in the video gaming world. Like, it's just like, it's all PlayStation <laughs> and, uh, you know, Xbox, they just, people just love down an Xbox. I'm telling you, do they deserve it? Redfall. So let me just tell you guys, I played Redfall. Now here's the thing. Let me, let me precursor or, or what's the word. Let me put a, um, what is it? What is it? Disclaimer. Disclaimer. I played it on iPhone. I played it on cloud gaming. I wanted to, I already heard it was bad. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to test so it. I'll on, just make it so small. I can't even, I can't see even it. see it. Yeah. So it won't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I played it on cloud gaming on my phone in my bed. Okay. Again, I like the cozy setup, right? And it ran just fine. So that's out of the way. I have it on the YouTube channel on gamer like dad, our YouTube channel. If you want to just watch the gameplay on an iPhone via um, cloud gaming, Xbox, I think does a great job there. Now, is it smart for me to play Redfall on a phone for a shooting game? No, not not at all. Um, I will say Redfall does deserve kind of the garbage it's getting. There's nothing. It's an empty world. The NPCs are terrible. Like I was one-shotting them. Like I would miss them. They would not hit me. They were like running back and forth like they were lost. Mm-hmm. Um, you can one-shot them with a pistol. Like it was really weird. And those were just the, um, the, the weirdo humans that were siding with the vampires. You know, they're like the cultists. Um, but even the vampires weren't that hard. I got lost. Like, I know there's several ways you can enter a room. There's, you know, they try to keep it open for you so you can do creative, inventive ways to get in rooms, either through a roof or through a window or 
But honestly, I was going around a circle around the firehouse, which is like the first base you create. And I'm like, what the heck? Where? What? No desire to boot that. It uh, was whatsoever. so frustrating. And I've heard the only way I've even heard from Xbox, like from Larry Herb, uh, his mm. podcast, you know, from Major Nelson. Um, you know, he's like, just play with friends. Like, if you're going to play it, just play with friends. I'm not even going to play with friends. Like, it's, I, um, I wouldn't do that to my friend. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not really in that space for shooters anymore anyway. So I'm just another disclaimer. It's just not my kind of game anymore. Um, but it, it does kind of deserve what it's getting out there. Um, well, there was like three big games that they were supposed to do this year. Um, that was one of them. The next one is Starfield. So what was the third one? Um, uh, what's the racing game that's coming out? Oh, Forza. Forza is coming out. Yeah. So, so it's a motor motorsport, not yeah, Horizon. Yeah. yeah. So those are the big three, and the, the one's down, and it's a mess. So, so I, I want to talk about okay before we go to the mess side of things, which yeah. is our next section. I want to talk about just the the plus side of Xbox because again they're getting all the booze. But let me just tell you again, I'm gonna I'm gonna wave the flag and the banner for Game Pass because guess what? This was their first seventy dollar game. I didn't have to drop seventy dollars. Yep. I I tried it. I said nope. And I walked away and you know, it's not really a win for them, but guess what? I didn't spend $70. Keep your non money. I'm going somewhere <laughs> else to buy a game. Yeah. Now someone would say, well, you're spending $14 a month or whatever. It was like, yeah, mm -hmm. but also I move on. Look at how many games I've tried during the week. That's true. And I can't do that if I didn't have the subscription. No. I think it's well worth if you're, if you're one of those who likes to taste games, <laughs> mm, let me give you guys a little ASMR. <laughs> Okay, so uh, last time Susan walked in and caught me pasting the game, I'm, I almost wasn't allowed to play any more games. She's like, Mark, that. stop licking your games. But honey, it's Zelda. <laughs> uh, even Bentley might lick uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So I just want to give a, a round of applause, a silent round of applause on the video version here for, for Xbox and for continuing to, to release games on Game Pass and allow us to try them, even if. They're not winners. That's true. So give it up. So that is going to bring us into our next section. And that is, Dad, you want to start us off? We talked about kind of the good of our games that we played, right? It's mm -hmm. things that we enjoyed, but it, we're going to, there with the good comes the bad. Yeah. And we're talking about uh, Jedi Survivor. Let's lead off with that. Let's look back at this uh, the, what little uh, portion of this year has already gone by. Let's look back at last year and the year before. And if you look at um, some games that were uh, really came out of the um, gate really raw. Remember Anthem? Remember oh. what a, how much potential that game had? I oh, mean, the, the it flying mechanics felt were fantastic. So good. The weapons were great. I felt like Iron Man. Yeah, it was just it was a great game yeah. in so many ways. And the first you month remember that one, right? Or two yeah. months of playing that game. It had rubber banding so bad. Do you remember what rubber banding is? Mm -hmm. You're in one place and all of a sudden it catches up and it pulls oh, you to yeah. another place. It shoots you forward somewhere else. Yeah. Like what happened? Trying to play with friends was just like absolutely ridiculous. And they did so many things wrong with that release. And guess what today? That is a mothballed game. I think you can still get on the servers, but they have announced um, maybe almost a year ago yeah. that they're not supporting it anymore mm. and it's gone. Yeah. What a shame. What a waste of resources. Yeah. That had so much potential. So yeah, they walked away. When you from think that about one. Jedi Survival, Survivor, Survivor, think of Anthem. Uh, think of Mass Effect Andromeda and how it released. Remember how the people's eyeballs were going googly eyed and they had these weird expressions on their faces yeah. because the um, programming for the facial animations was just all off. It was so messed up. It was really messed up. And you love Mass Effect. You played oh, all three. I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. Yeah. And that's actually not a bad game now, and it's fun to play. Um, all those issues have been taken care of, and it's all 4K assets now. It has been for some time. So I'd recommend it today. So there's a company who was able to go through, fix the issues, and make it into a decent, more than decent game. How long did it take them to do that? Like a year? Yeah, it took more? them out of like a year. The other play, I mean, the other thing you had against Andromeda is you couldn't play as Shepard, right? Because it was kind of a different storyline. It was a correct? totally different storyline. Yeah. And it was it was appealing to a younger audience, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that was happening there. So yeah. if you think about that, uh, so there was a Anthem, Mass Effect Andromeda, Marvel Avengers. I played that for about 20 minutes. A buddy of mine who was really into that stuff played it for about an hour. It was just not a 
game that was well done. You took a fantastic franchise with um, some great characters. I mean, what, what can you do to mess up Thor? Well, you can make him look like a guy who needs a haircut badly, um, who's probably living somewhere where he shouldn't be. Um, all the characters just look totally odd. They didn't look like the movie characters at all, mm -hmm. which totally re removes you from the reality of the game. Don't you think we had a bias, though, like there? Because we were we so used to seeing them one way. Yeah, and so that hurt, but then there's so many bad things, and, and they tried to nickel and dime you again um, with add-ons and stuff. Yeah. So that's uh, that's also a game that's gone down the tank. Yeah. Um, Gotham Knights. I bought Gotham Knights after much... Um, Thinking about it. You had the collector's edition. We showed off the statue. Yeah, which I really paid way too much for. But the big thing was it had that rubber banding that we saw on Anth Anthem. Uh, as you were riding your motorcycle or your Batmobile, um, mm -hmm. or your Bat cycle mm -hmm. out on the streets. And it also didn't hit 30 frames per second. It would be 24 and 22, which is one of the issues with um, Survivor. You know, you just can't get a constant frame rate. And heck, Weren't we all expecting 60 frames per second, let alone maybe see 120 on some, some games? Well, this is what they're selling. The new consoles were six years into the lifespan of the console. No, wait, no, 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 no. The, the consoles came out in um, 2020. Yeah, so it's three years. During the pandemic, so three years. I mean, we still don't see consistent 60 Yeah. yeah. On, on the consoles. So Gotham Knights was something, but they worked on it. It's better. It's actually a playable game now, and if you like Batman and um, that whole... Um, genre, then go back to it and give it another try. Right. I'll give you uh, an example of one that where they really did it right, and that's No Man's Sky. If you were around for the release of No Man's Sky when it launched, they had that thing hyped up so high you couldn't even see it. And it when it launched, it was a hot mess, and it stayed a hot mess for quite a while, but they didn't give up. And every few months and every year, they made it better and better and better until it's one of the very best open world games that's yeah. out there today. Well, they went dark. Like they went dark. They didn't say anything. No. And it was like, wasn't it like two years? And then it came back fully and they gave everything free. Right. And like they did all these updates, like you said, every couple months and it was, and it's still to this and day. And we're still seeing huge updates yeah. and they're going to have a VR it's version on VR. of it. VR. Yep. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this has just to go with the commitment of the development companies mm -hmm. um, and the people that own the gaming companies you got the three choices in my mind. You can fix it, you can try to fix it, or you can abandon it. And then hats off to the people who fixed it and went the extra mile. I hope, um, I think we'll see uh, Jedi Survivor uh, fixed post haste. Yeah. And I'll be able to play. Did they, did they so. release Bentley Jeff something? No. Did they release a day one patch on that? They did. And it, but it didn't really fix much of anything I as far as. I think they did. Okay. I, I know there's already a day one patch for Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. You can expect that to come out right away. So the, so um, I did hear, and it, correct me if this is wrong or whatever, but I did hear PlayStation probably had the fewest amount of bugs on Survivor. I think I was noticing from all the it reviewers. It too, but still they had the same issues. They still had some crashes. And crashes, frames per second, okay. uh, those type of things. Now, wasn't so. PC the worst version? Yeah. And some would say it's because, well, they're trying to, you know, they got to develop it for how many different, like, thousands of PCs out there, right? Yeah, but I watched it, you know, and they, even if you look at the minimum specs, all of your um, GPUs and your CPUs have multiple cores. They've got these guys looking at the frames per second. They're also looking at how many cores it's hitting. Mm -hmm. They're treating it like a single core game, mm -hmm. which is stupid. Yeah. You know, why aren't you multi-threading? Mm. Why aren't you using two, three, four cores to, to get, get the game's performance up to where it should be? Mm -hmm. I have no idea why they're not doing it. But mm. you can catch them in that and you say, well, that's dumb. No wonder it doesn't run at anything better than 24 right. frames per second. Now, now, I did hear, just like you said, uh, you mentioned about Fallen Order, but I did hear Survivor is beautiful. If you can get past oh, yeah, the bugs. I hear it. Yeah, it's um, a fun game. Yeah, and it's a fun game. I've heard the, uh, all the different stances in the game because mm -hmm. here's one of the cool things about Survivor Valley is you come out as Kyle Kestis as a Jedi from from Fallen uh, Order. Mm -hmm. So you you don't start like with powers that hole. are diminished. Yeah, no, you hole. start out as a oh, as a bad A, and then nice. you get better, even better. Dang. Yeah, so it's like very satisfying. I hear as far yeah. as the the play. So, so when, I don't think this is going to end anytime soon. Mm -hmm. You got corporate greed. You got people trying to hit timelines. Things already get overrun. They're yeah. taking longer than they should be. They just got to launch it. And it depends on how well they do after they launch it and how quickly they can fix it. But they should really 
do a better job of managing these companies. Yeah. Because I think that's where Xbox really fell down. They yeah. didn't manage the company. Um, well, that's a lot of the that's a lot of the talk out there is like can can Microsoft actually run a game company? Like, you know, you know, the they're, you know, the way they managed, um, the way they let what happened to Redfall, you know, they they pretty much just put it it's by Arcane, right? Arcane is and the Arcane's one. And Arcane's done great work. They've never, really, all their games are fantastic. And, you know, and that's one of the spell. reasons they stood back. They said, okay, yeah, you guys are already far along. You know what you're doing. Yeah. We'll put our focus here, like on Starfield. Right. But they boo-booed. Well, they, they do it with Minecraft. They let Mojang, you know, do whatever they do. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, they're not... at some point in time, you've got to inspect what you expect. Yeah. And trust but verify. They were too, they were too late to this. Too late. Yeah. And they had to release it. So, anyway. which brings us to the, the the talk the talk that everybody's talking about is there's so much pressure on on Starfield now because it's Xbox yeah. next biggest release and uh, you know and, and it's Bethesda and they're like well Bethesda games always you know release buggy anyway I mean think about <laughs> Skyrim Skyrim that game is hilarious like its bugs are yeah. hilarious yeah. now granted it's an old game but mm -hmm. they're almost endearing now right like the silly things that happen in the game. But when it's a new game and people pay a lot of money for a game, they don't want endearing bugs. That's exactly right. <laughs> They're not endearing yet. Not yet. Yeah, they don't have that uh, that vision. But um, I will say also, speaking of just kind of in that, going back to the your, the games that, you know, release in, in not the best state, and should they release those games? Same with the thing with Redfall. Redfall should have never released at 30 frames per second. Never. Should have never happened. Neither should Gotham Knights. Neither should Gotham Knights. It is a shooter and there is no excuse. Mm -hmm. None. I, I don't care. Like, you push the game back. Push it back. You've already pushed it back. Who cares? Push it back. Like, What's the other big franchise of um, Bethesda with the Pip-Boy and the... Fall, uh, Fallout? Fallout. Mm -hmm. When they released Fallout, um, the last Fallout version that they released, yeah. what a mess. Yeah. Yeah, we're, you said you were in the new console generation. Bentley, you had, a, you had um, an experience with frames, right? What was it? I did. Forza. Yeah. Was it a new one? Horizon 5? Yeah, fine. yeah. I was out of town. I think when this happened. Yeah, um, yeah. So I had been playing it on your monitor, which it was much much nicer. He was playing it on a C10. Yeah, yeah, with the um, with the Xbox Series X. So yeah. it was running at sixty. So that's when I 4K. started playing, and yeah. then at some point, I guess I couldn't figure out like how to work your TV or something. Right. I called it a TV because it basically is. Yeah, um, yeah. It's not a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I was playing it on mine and. Mm -hmm. Which like runs at thirty, right? Frames and it's four K, but it's thirty. Yeah, it was it was really hard to play. Like, I'm not necessarily like a graphic graphics nerd. Like, no. I can handle bad graphics, You're but not. yeah, it was like just hard to drive. Almost like I feel like I that sounds like I'm sick. overreacting, but like I couldn't even like drive around. It was like yeah. gl glitching almost. Like, yeah. It probably um, wasn't. It was just 30 frames. Yeah. It just <laughs> that's true with VR also. The like better that. you can, the higher you can get the frame rate, the less sick you get. Yeah. So um, there's some, the, the fluidity is important because it mimics real life. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's blurry. It feels blurry once you go back down to 30. Yeah. Yeah. And then also it's a driving game. So you're flying by people and yeah, you're going to need good frames. You need that, that processing. Uh, 60. And I've heard a lot of people say, honestly, we're in the new console generation. There's no excuse. 60 is minimum. 60 is minimum. It, like, should, it should be, but I don't think it's going to be. I think we're going to continue to unfortunately find ourselves with 30 frames per second games, and you're either going to play them or not. Yeah. I just, I'm looking forward to the, the, the time. Maybe we get a mid-grade, mid-gen upgrade with these consoles. The PlayStation 6. Yeah. Now, there, there's five a lot a to talk about a PS5 Pro. There is, and, the, and maybe an Xbox Mate. Well, I don't know. Xbox doesn't want to do consoles. They, they've already made that clear. They just mm -hmm. want to sell uh, subscriptions. But, you know, you know, maybe the next mid-grade, mid-gen upgrade, maybe they are truly 4K60. Like I've got it. The Xbox U. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it comes with a little uh, handheld. An extra oh, handheld. No. Oh, no. Don't kill the Xbox, okay? <laughs> don't give it those vibes. Anyway, enough bitching and moaning about that type of stuff. Hopefully we'll see... Um, the game companies stand up and release more we, better stuff. For we want to say we know game development is hard. We're not yeah. game developers. We're not here to to just to trash spew on them. On them. No. But I really think just take the time. You know, I plenty of people they don't get mad at you. They, they're a little disappointed when a game doesn't release on time. But guess what? 
Well, the developers will take the time if you'll give it to them. And it's management. It's the companies. They, they, they yeah. Wax them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that forces uh, them. Yeah. It, all, it makes it all worth it. Like it does. It does. Nobody wants to play Tears of the Kingdom broken. So please no. don't let it be broken. Which they did push it back. They they, they did. did that right. If so. I hear that it's broken, I'm not going to boot it. You're going to rage. You're just going to rage against the machine. No, I'm just going to sit back and just play. Um, don't ruin your experience. Wii. Play Breath of the Wild. Well, guess what? I I haven't beat Ganondorf in Breath of the Wild. Oh, you need to before you play. I Breath need to beat the game. That's a requirement. It's a requirement. So. Well, this ain't gonna happen before I die. <laughs> well, it's gonna it's gonna have to happen. Bentley, can you force me? Maybe we can record the video and I can play the last part of Breath of the sure. Wild. I'll, okay, I'll try. Sounds good. All right. So speaking of Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, there's a little game coming out. I just mentioned it, and it is Tears of the Kingdom. Let's do a little segue. We're gonna do a little history of Zelda for everybody out there. Okay, well, everybody listening and watching. So have a little patience, but we're gonna go through the list. And of course, the very first one is the legend of zelda i'm gonna go to our little reaction i'm gonna go to play it's got some it's got some audio but check this out the legend of zelda um little gameplay here uh this this brings back so many memories this, this came back out in 87 you said 1987 on the nes oh look at that i love the whole screen just scrolls up yep yep just and you know what was the worst part was when you got caught in a corner like there and you had oh. to go back and forth like three or four times oh and the whole screen was going, yeah wow, wow, wow. yeah you really had to time things well i mean i it, hearing that oh, when you get hit it's mm -hmm. oh it's i just remember oh he's got the shield he's bouncing him off very nice um but i love this game i beat this game obviously is the first zelda you know i was 10 years old when this came well, out i would just sit there and watch you play it yeah yeah um but also guess what this game um somebody mentioned on a podcast i think it was on game scoop on ign but they were talking about how this game, or it might have been on Nintendo, on NBC, Nintendo Voice Chat, but they were talking about how, um, and if guys, if you don't know, I listen to every gaming podcast out there. So uh, maybe this is also why this podcast has happened, but um, this was actually the first open world Zelda because you can go in different directions, any direction. There's mm -hmm. not like a mainline path. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what was a little difficult about this. You know, you could just, just go kind of wherever how did you find your objective i mean what you were supposed to do next did was there an objective you had to kind of memorize where you were going uh -huh. like and i know there's a map right now you're just a dot in a square in a square in a gray space yeah, that, uh -huh. mm -hmm. actually i should have uh maximized the screen so you guys have it in the but uh yeah you need to go in these areas you find some gems you got this troll dog here giving you some gems so Something like a troll so dog. really zelda is an open world game yeah just the, the other ones that came out were just weren't open world. No. <laughs> they yeah. Re, they regressed. Yeah. They, yeah. I don't know. That's what they had mentioned. I don't know if that's true. You guys can, you're wrong us out there. But uh, <laughs> anyway, and I always love that sound of finding oh, a yeah. cave. Da, 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 da. So there you go. Legend of Zelda was the very first one um, on the list. We're going to go back to the next one, which is Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, which um, I can't ever remember playing this one. And I hear this is the Dark Horse. This is the, this is the Poo Poo Zelda game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but look at what's weird about this family. Check this out. There's a side-scrolling element to this game. Look at this. Okay. Look. Oh. And honestly, the music. Why would weird. you do that? So it's it's very um for those not not watching and only listening. This is the very Ghost and Goblins. Uh, get on my head. That's exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Got the side scrolling, mm -hmm. um, very minimal jump, throw, shoot, dart, or dagger, just like, again, just like Ghosts and Goblins. Mm -hmm. And then you go through that, and then now you're on a top down view. But honestly, That's I like Legend of Zelda better. Like, <laughs> I don't think this looks good. No, I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It looks it like is. the Philips CDI stuff they did. Yeah. Yeah. We saw a few videos of the Philips CDI, and it's like, what is this? <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. So there you go. So you had uh, you had Zelda 2, which again, I, I honestly can't remember playing, which is really, really funny. So then the next one, we have uh, A Link to the Past. Dad, did you play A Link to the Past? On the 3DS? Yes. Yes. 91, 92, when this released, Link to the Past. Um, yeah, listen to that music. Mm -hmm. So good, right? Uh, but yeah, I can do a little little speed through there you go you got some dungeon action there you go it's so long since i've touched it it looks yeah. a lot more advanced than the first two zelda doesn't games. it is a big it's a big jump 91 so you had um so zelda 2 was only a year after it was in 88 and this is 91 92 so you had a couple so years there's a big 
jump. A couple of years jump. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So a link to the past, and that's on Super NES for those wondering out there. But uh, there you go. I'll listen to the music. Just take just take a second, guys. So good, so good. Oh yeah, that's. I remember relaxing. that song. Yeah, it's a great song. So we had that one, and then um, so from Link to the Past, then we had um, Link's Awakening. Which there was a remaster of Link's Awakening uh, remake, actually, completely in 2019, I think we saw. Um, but this is a really quirky um, Link uh, Zelda game, right? You land on this island, it's just got all these weird, you got uh, references to other games in it. It's like a fever dream. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a Link fever dream. <laughs> land on the island, you got to go get this egg. There's an egg on top of the island. I, Is I don't know. On the Game Boy or what? This was on. Let me let me pull this up. Um, that is a good question. I think this was Game Boy originally. Do 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 do. Let me. I I don't want to. Don't go for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Link's Awakening. Yep. Game Boy 1993, and it came on Game Boy Color in 1998. So five right. years later, you got a color version of that. And then the 3DS on 2011. Yep. In 2019 on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Now the next one we're gonna we're gonna go. Uh, quickly too and this was one of my favorites and that's ocarina of time absolutely love this game uh open world kind of feel a not man open world and his studly horse man and his horse 1998 to 2011 nintendo ocarina of time 3d this uh this was on was this on gamecube i think this was on gamecube let me switch let me look real quick ocarina of time nintendo 64 on 1998 and 2003 came out on gamecube hmm. so there you go so Ocarina of Time, um, I just remember running around the uh, the fields on Epona. Um, there's the chicken. chicken nice. Yeah, you still got to return the chickens to the pens. That's in every Zelda game. That's funny. You got to say, look how good this looks, though. Look at him running. <laughs> look at that dude running. That's so funny. La-dee-da, skipping. I the chicken on my head. I love this game. Ocarina of Time. I don't know. It's not, it's not everybody's favorite out there. Um, I was trying to find some footage of us running around in the field. Like, what? What? What is this person doing? Like, <laughs> it's a mime. Kill it. <laughs> is it Mr. Mime? Pokemon? No. Uh, I want to get some Epona. There we go. Oh, this is the race. Yeah, there, I remember doing this. Oh, man. That... I remember hitting that fence so many times. Yep, me too. <laughs> so there you go, Ocarina of Time. Love the, uh, you know, I want to, I wanted to play a section where you play the, ah, oh, there's a great song. Mm -hmm. Um, you know where you play the, the ocarina, but I don't know if I can find it. So, anyway, there you go. There's some dungeon action there in Ocarina of Time. All these games are leading us up to where we're heading. That's right. So there you go, Ocarina of Time. Uh, one of my favorites. And guys, let us know out there which one is your favorite. Like, which, you know, what do you remember playing? Which one really, you know, hits at the heartstrings? After this one was Majora's Mask, and this one came out uh, on the Nintendo 64 Game View 2000 and 2003. Uh, this is 2009 Wii Virtual Console on Majora's Mask. Was that a remake? I don't, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, and if you want to leave a comment, the best way to do it is to get on the Gamer Like Dad YouTube site. Yeah. And we only not only put these out as a true podcast, mm -hmm. but we have the whole video Mm -hmm. um, where you can comment and yep. we'd love to hear from you on that. Yep. This is a very dark one. This one had the moon, I think was falling down onto the earth. Um, yeah, that, the, there was something about the whole character when you get turned into that, that this weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's very dark. This whole, this whole Zelda was very dark. I think I um, had bad dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dawn of the final day. I know, right? 24 hours remain. This is kind of scary. Yeah. It, it, it had a. I don't know it, if I can handle this one. It had an ominous, ominous feel to it. So, hey, bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> bunny ears. <laughs> oh, God, so creepy. Um, you're a little boy, but don't you turn into a big link on this one? If I remember correctly, I can't remember. You big boy link? Um, I don't know. Whoa. There, there's transfer. the big boy. There he is. Buffed. Well, yeah. I am well, Mr. Buffer. Looks like he turned into a Gerudo. Yeah, he does. Um, anyway, so there you go. Yeah. So you have Majora's Mask was the next one on the list. And then after Majora's Mask, we had Oracle Seasons, which I never I never played. Um, that one was on Game Boy Color. And uh, this says 3DS Virtual Console. And then Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I guess those are one after the other. 
uh, Game Boy Color. This was 2001, 2000. Uh, it says 3DS Virtual Console in 2013. So there and you the, go. Um, the Jorah's Mask, that's the one I still have the um, complete inbox one with the mm -hmm. uh, golden mm -hmm. cartridge. You have yeah, Majora's yeah. Mask, you have the golden cartridge? Yeah, for Ooh. N64. So nice. Then there was Link to the Past and the Four Swords, which came out on Game Boy Advance. Uh, again, I missed a lot of the, I've mentioned before, a lot of the portable yeah. era. Yeah, we didn't do the Game Boy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, 2004, uh, I was married. 2002, we had our first kiddo. So I was already, I had no money. You feed your kids, play yeah. games. Feed your <laughs> yeah, kids feed your kids, play games. Mm. Hmm. But then that all ended. Then I decided to not give money to my kids, and uh, uh, I got go. Wind Waker. Dad, right. Wind Waker. Do you have what? Do you, what are your thoughts on Wind Waker? Um, you know, I'm sure it's a fun game. I've tried to get into it. Oh, you it's didn't play of, it? I thought you played it. No, it's kind of like Monster Hunter for me. It's one of those games I know was excellent, and I really should be wanting to play it. Mm -hmm, and I've mm -hmm. even collected some stuff about it, and then it's mm -hmm. like I go to play it, and it's like I'm sorry. Yeah. I want a steak here, and this is just graham crackers and peanut butter. <laughs> oh, you didn't like? Yeah. So why? So what was? It the, was just too, um, too kiddish for me. As we're I'm watching, I, you... I love a more adult-themed game, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, even the music. Doo -doo, doo -doo. And I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, this is a great game, no doubt about it. It's just not my cup of tea. Yeah. Well, um, this was mentioned. I remember listening again to another podcast and. Originally, Nintendo had released a trailer for a Zelda that was, you know, going to be, you know, the next Zelda, which was ended up being Wind Waker. Before that, it was a much more adult version of mm -hmm. Link. And then after that, they pulled that. And then, you know, down the road, we got Wind Waker. So, Somebody in a boardroom somewhere <laughs> said, no, we will not do that. So a lot of people were not happy with this. People did not like the cell shaded art style mm -hmm. and the kiddish. I mean, you know, look at look at this. So you, you have a sister, too, which is strange. So. You know, a lot of times in all the Zeldas, you know, Link has been reincarnated. Like mm -hmm. he's, you know, he's, he's a different person. And Zelda is too, a lot of times. Like, uh, you know, like his sister gets, I think, kidnapped in Wind Waker, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. Guys, you can, you can, you're wrong me out there for sure. Um, if I remember correctly. But what I did love about this game is the open sea aspect. Mm -hmm. um, Sailing. Riding on the boat. And I can show some of that here, guys. If you, again, if you, if you're listening to us, go to the YouTube version and you can um, see some of this gameplay of uh on wind waker but i want to go hit the op open you know uh, this is probably one of those things if i would have just given it a few more hours i would have been okay yeah like, that looks cool but see this was great yeah this was so nice this reminded me of sea of thieves or sea wind waker thieves. yeah or okay. sea of thieves reminded you of this yes sea of thieves obviously has some of the best water in any video game ever made because mm -hmm. that is the game is, is the water but um, look at that. He just nice. cleared those obstacles. But yeah, you went around in this in this ship, and the ship is a special ship, which I don't want to give any spoils out there for people who have not played Wind Waker, because there's definitely something to the ship. And um, yeah, but that open exploration on the sea, there were some times I got lost in this game quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, running across, you know, the monsters in the ocean. It, again, Sea of Thieves has that very... Ominous feel sometimes when you're it's on the ocean. It's not a high priority. You know, I've got it. I own it. It's it's in great condition, but it's not high on my priority list to play. And this was remastered too. Right. So you know, I would I would love to play this remastered. I'd love to revisit it. So there you go, Wind Waker. Uh, then after Wind Waker, we had um, Zelda Four Swords Adventures, and then Minish Cap. Now Minish Cap just released on Switch. Yeah, Switch Online. Yeah, yeah, Nintendo Online. Now, did and they do anything different to it visually? Um, so I don't think so. I think this was a direct port. Okay. And, um, now I think the deal with this is, uh, you, I think you can shrink down in size. Mm. Did he just break the master sword? Whoa. Well, all I know is he's releasing some spirits out of a chest. There's an opening spoiler alert for the beginning of Minish Cap, but, <laughs> um, yeah, there's something about the size of Zelda I, or of Link. I think you're like shrunk down. Does he have an animal on his head? He has an animal on his head. Yeah. <laughs> again, I haven't played this game. And guys, right. I really want to play this game. Like it came out. Well, you, so, do you I have can, Switch Online? I have Switch Online. So I can go for it. I can play it. Yeah. Anyway, so Minish Cap. Um, this one, you know, this one came out and let's, let's give it a look here. This one came out on 2004. On Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. Yep. And just uh, this last month or so. Yeah, there you go. Switch Online 2023. Yeah. Very cool for the G for, on the GBA library. So yeah. there you go. 
And then uh, Dad, Twilight Princess. That's really the next one. Uh, a lot of fun with that. 2006 GameCube. Mm-hmm. Um, you remember much about the game? Um, that little character with the. Oh, you've got the amiibo of it, don't you? Uh, uh yeah. With the, uh, can you grab um with the, the one with the, the wolf and Midna? So yeah, here's guys. If you wanna, I'm gonna zoom in on. Um, let me put it on our faces here so you guys can see this. But we have here's um, wolf. Oh, Link. This, is, this is Twilight Princess. This is Twilight Princess. I think I played this one. Yeah. I think this was the first one I ever played. Yeah, you did. You remember that opening? Tiny bit. Yeah, you wake up I in remember your house. running around with horse collecting rupees. Horse. Did I say running around with horse? Uh, <laughs> horse. Good horse. <laughs> I remember riding on a horse. There yes. we go. Yes. Mm-hmm. And also the wolf thing. The wolf Can't thing. you like turn into a wolf or mm-hmm. something? Yep. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and Midna is one of your character partner people. Uh, weird, weird thing. Um, yeah, so now compare that with Wind Waker mm-hmm. and there's two totally different dynamics there. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a dark tail yep. and there's a light, bright, let's sail the ocean tail. Yeah. Still Zelda. Still Zelda. Yeah. They have gone all over the place with they it. They certainly have. Yeah. They've really, yeah, we saw Majora's Mask is super creepy, uh, which by the way, if you're trying to find that mask, the one that was like the collector's edition, the one that's like, st- like big, oh, yeah. it's like yeah, a lot that. of money. It's like a thousand dollars. I believe it to to even pick up from a collector. So, Twilight Princess, and then we had Phantom Hourglass, which I never, which no, I never played. I never played uh, Spirit Tracks, no. which again, these are on the DS. So you know, again, uh, portable. Next, didn't, didn't get to him. And then we had um, Skyward Sword. So Skyward Sword, we got a little gameplay for Skyward Sword here, guys. Uh, let's go to that. And this seems reminiscent of a game that's coming out on Friday. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Falling from the sky. Hmm. Hmm. Link is, uh... If you look back, there it was behind him as he was falling down. It looked like... Was it islands? Little little islands. Yeah. So the sky... Look, yeah, they're right there above him. So the sky island. So uh, I guess apparently uh, Skyward Sword... I didn't play Skyward Sword. I was married with two kids. And again, didn't... You keep bringing that up. I know. It's like, as as if my family gets in my way. Jesus. How dare you guys get in my way of gaming? <laughs> oh, you're be you mean, I guess a little parachute that comes out. Yep. What if we just awful? He just went splat. <laughs> so this has a lot of the features that I'm seeing from. Whoa, who's that person? Um, Fee. I don't know who Fee is, but I guess it's a partner character in this game. Um, mm. But this this is holding a lot of elements of Breath of the Wild, which is the one we'll be talking about yeah, here pretty the soon. Switch graphics, and then that amiibo right there. Oh yeah, you want to grab this on the far right there, Bentley. Yeah, let me pause this and get to our face cam here. So, which one is that? Um, Zelda and Loftwing. Zelda and Loftwing. That's cool. Am I correct? So we got some amiibos to show off you guys if you want to watch the video version or go back to it and mm-hmm. and check it out. A lot of these you can come, they come in and out of stock. Yeah, there's. I I think I got that like a year ago. Or so. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's so cool. Nothing really on the back, but. Yeah, and then what's the other one? Is oh, that's Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Okay. Still yeah. cool. You can show that one off while we're showing some closed, uh, sealed product yeah. here. Nice. That's a cool stance. Just cool one. I like it. Very nice. And guys, again, if you look at our YouTube uh, video version of the podcast, we have Zelda and Link from Breath of the Wild right in front of us. Yeah, we'll show you those. In we'll show you those bit. in a second as we talk about it. But um, yeah. anyway, so yeah, so Skyward Sword didn't play. I would like to go back and play it. I heard it was a little difficult because of um, the, the motion controls. Mm. Um, that was one of the things people didn't like, love about it. But the remaster? Right. They read They it. changed it yeah, so you don't did. have to use motion right. controls. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Could you imagine like trying to swing with a sword and then do the bow and arrow thing and all no, that thanks. stuff? Yeah. I mean, wow. I don't, yeah. Some games I just want to stay still. I'm good. You know what I mean? Don't mess with Zelda. No. <laughs> So, all right. So then after that, guys, I'm, I'm making this long. I'm trying to go quick. A Link Between Worlds. This one, people talk like, talk it up like crazy. A Link Between yeah, Worlds. Yeah, and I haven't put a lot of time into it. I, I looked at it because a friend of mine um, is really into this stuff and knows it inside and out. And he said, you mm-hmm. really need to play this, Mark. And so I bought it and I started to play it like everything else. I started to play it and I got mm-hmm. sidetracked. Oh, trippy. Trippy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, A Link Between Worlds, you let me borrow it on the 3DS. Um, you got it now. Is yeah, I have it now. And and mainly, uh, I, it kind of piqued my interest because, you know, they were closing the eShop, as we talked about on right. a previous mm-hmm. podcast. 
Um, so, you know, these games were disappearing. Now, many of these games were still on cartridge, right? So you could get them. Right. But I hadn't played this and I've heard so many good things. And one of the biggest gameplay um, cool features in this game is that you can go flat link, right? Yeah, against the wall. Yeah. What do they call it? The 2D link? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's like a portrait, basically. And you're like almost like Paper Mario style. That's the only way you can get from one place to another. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not quite there yet. I just started the game. And again, that's a cozy game for me. I get in bed mm -hmm. and I open up the 3DS, which is not mine. It's Bentley's. I borrowed the 3DS yeah. from Bentley. So thank you, Bentley. <laughs> Anytime. So there you go. So there is uh, Link Between Worlds. And then, of course, we have the final one, guys. Oh, boy. 2000. What, 16? 17. 17. 17. Thank yeah. you. Breath of the Wild. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and play you the trailer so you guys can get hype. Um... There's seagulls chirping. We got the pan looking over this nice little peninsula, a waterfall. I feel like this is a decent jump. Yeah. Oh, definitely. From the previous game. That's amazing. That, yeah, that's amazing. a slight graphical change. Huh? Decently sized jump. And you think right this there. is being pushed out by a Nintendo Switch? That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah. they know. How, they know Look, how to. Um, what's the little guy's name? The Korox. Korox. Yeah. Yeah. And the Master Sword that's in the forest. Which for? What's the forest called? The dark. Is this? What? Um, Dark Forest? No. No. Hidden Forest. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. I'm not going to. Guys, sorry. Yeah, don't, don't make fun of us. But they know how to make <laughs> a hype trailer, that's for oh, sure. Oh, man, do they ever. Yeah, this last trailer for um, Tears of the Kingdom Ooh. really blew me away. Oh, so yeah. good. We won't replay it, but look at this. You're standing over a world. That was the whole thing. When Remember when you walked out the, mm -hmm. of the tomb for mm -hmm. the very first mm -hmm. time? And it just, you, you hit, a, listen to that music. You hit a few of those piano notes, and then it, and it's kind of scrolled back a little bit. And then you're like, all right, you're off. Go. Go wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This makes me, again, this week I'm going to play some Breath of the Wild. I'm going to get myself hyped. I'm going to beat Ganondorf. Ganon? Ganondorf? Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Big Ganon? Whatever. There's all kinds of versions of Ganon. <laughs> there are. Yeah. Uh, Ganon beast thingy. He was Calamity Ganon in this. Calamity yeah. Ganon. Calamity. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's like that. But then he's he, this big yeah. spirit thing. Does he? Is there a spoiler in there? Does something happen with him? Spoilers. There's multiple Ganons in that. Oh, game, that's all I'll say. I would, the sand surfing was so hard, uh, in for for a while to win that race that he had to do outside that town. But uh, so I've beaten all of the uh, the beasts. The the beasts. I only beat one. I mean, honestly, I'm at the point where I've, I've collected. I have the um, what's the helm? The electrical, the the lightning, lightning helm. helm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I hear that's you needed, right? Or that would help with Ganon. Um, I don't you know. need it. Yeah. Mipo was pretty cool in this game. Yeah. And that whole group of, uh, that whole race. So we have a bunch of, um, we don't have to show all this gameplay of, uh, I know we'll just sit here and watch this. Um, <laughs> but uh, we have some, here's uh, this, these are the Gerudo, right? The big, big guy. Yeah. Are those, these guardians? No, these aren't. What are they called? They're, They're the right. something like that. Yeah, so there's him. There's, there's a, the base mob right here. The bokoblin. The bokoblin. Yep. Yeah. And here's a slight jump in mobs <sighs> difficulty level. Oh, the um, guardians. Guardian. Do you remember I watched, when I watched something about that about getting the timing right? And if you can get the timing right, you can actually deflect their laser strike against you right back yeah. to them, mm -hmm. and it'll take yeah, them down sure. like three quarters of the way. So yeah, I was watching. There's just some people out there that just do some amazing stunts mm -hmm. with that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, do you remember when you first came across those and how weak you were and then like how scared you were of those things? Because I mean, they just like one shot you. Yeah. yeah it's mm -hmm. pretty impressive. And then we have these amazing statues in front of us, Dad. You yeah, brought... These are my first four figures and uh, I've not been a Zelda collector, but these were just absolutely awesome. You can still find them for around $79. I got these at Target, I believe. And uh, um, Link is uh, lit up both on the arrow yeah. and on the base. Mm -hmm. And Zelda's lit up on the base and on the Sheikah Zelda tablet. Zelda's Sheikah tablet, is, if you can, we'll zoom in yeah. so you guys can see it. But Really, really great quality. Very cool. Um, I'd say they're real, really well worth it. And then the other thing that I purchased that have I have not yet opened. Ooh, here. Here, Chris. Yeah, let me see if I can grab it. Or you got it? I can. You got it and I can hold it. Use my wiggles. Go ahead. Oh boy. Talk about it. What it's, are we holding? Oh. What do you think you're holding? Well, it's a box <laughs> and it's got gold and green and white on it. Some pretty yeah. shiny stuff. Yes. Yeah, the collector's edition for the um Tears of the Kingdom. OLED Switch. Switch. OLED Switch. Yeah. 
And I'm not planning on opening this yet because I'm still trying to find a collector's edition of the game. Mm -hmm. And I'm also trying to find the um, Pro Controller. Right. And then what I'd like to do is have Bentley, Chris, and myself open all three of these items Ooh. together in the next week. And we're going to open this on your channel, right? We'll do that. We'll do it on my channel, and you can also share the video on your channel. Sure. So just have different lead-ins with it. Yep. And um, I would really like to open this with the family because it's, it's really a special a special thing that ties us all together right now is we'll all be playing Zelda at yeah. the same time and having, having a lot of feedback. Yeah. I imagine in our upcoming podcast, we'll be letting you know how we're doing. Yeah. 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 This is, this is the crowning moment. Oh. This is the biggest, arguably this is the biggest game of the year. And there's an Amiibo that comes out with this. You can still get your hands on them. And I bought you one and I bought you one. Oh, oh look at this guy. Yeah. Elder Geek Gamer or dad. Dad oh. spreading the love. So those are coming for you guys. And I got one for myself. This is my problem, guys. I'm an only child, and I wasn't spoiled at all. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, you know, Bailey might be a little spoiled too. I wasn't an I wasn't an only child, but I am also spoiled. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally not spoiled. No, 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 no. He, he, he yeah. I mean, you do get things though. <laughs> a few. Yeah. I mean, not many. Not many people have access to all games and systems and. And everything else. We've, so. you know, between Chris and myself, we've owned the majority of systems that yep. have come out over the years, yep. and that's not brag or anything no. like that. We've fortunate we've, enough to be able to play all systems, have them, and sometimes we've also let a lot of things go because we fund a lot of our new purchases from we letting did. old stuff go and and selling it out. From, yeah, we, we're not made of money. No, nobody is. Yeah. Well, so, which luckily you took a couple of my consoles that I was going to sell. And you're like, no, nope, he was going to sell the Halo Reach console. Yeah. Uh, the Halo Reach console, the 360. I've got that. You but have then that again, one. he's had given me a couple of things that uh, I sold when I got tired on money. Yeah. So we try to support each other in the family now and yep. make sure that we keep the good stuff here. Yep. And if it's not that important or if it's newer stuff, we'll sell it. To, and I, I've got this covered for the um, console and the other two items. Mm hmm. I just got to get them listed on eBay yeah. and I'll be good. Yeah. What are your guys' favorite keepsakes if you're collectors out there? What's something that you absolutely can't let go of? And what's something that you, you know, you could, but, you know, you could always buy later. You know, I think there's and always Also, do you have anything with uh, Zelda that you have, the, the collectible that you really like? Yeah. And what do you think about the uh, the console? Yeah. To be honest with you, I'm not a real fan of the gold and the green on the um, Joy-Con. Mm -hmm. But uh, Hori is coming out with a complete line I saw it. of additional uh, uh, Joy-Cons. Yes. That I think look a little cooler. Yes. Um, so anyway, when we put these together, uh, there's some options that'll make it look pretty. Yeah, cool. I think the Hori uh, version of the and they have the bigger grips, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about the the little teeny joy cons. I can't do the teeny stuff. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big man. I want a big meal and I want a big hand grip. You hear to hear, guys. Elder Geek Gamer has large hands and he uh, <laughs> he can't be using any of those little joy cons. He's come on got... over here. Come on, come on over here. I'll slap you. I'll slap you. That's fine, <laughs> guys. I think that's it. Is that all? That, that, ben, all you have done. anything else? Yes, I'd say. So Tears of the Kingdom, Friday. Yep. All that all that to say, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears, Tears, coming of, the kingdom. Out. Tears of the Kingdom, guys. Another age in the history book of Zelda. I just yes. sent Chris a picture of him, the two of us, at GameStop mm -hmm. 2017, picking up our Switches and Breath of the Wild. Yes. I kind of wish we were going to a midnight release on Thursday. Yeah, we Just, miss doing those type of things. Yeah. We did a lot of that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, those are those are good memories. Guys, let us know what you're doing. Are you going to play Tears of the Kingdom? Or are you going to wait and, uh, you know, see what, what deals you can pick up if you're going to wait for the collector's edition? Or if you're just going to... Mm -hmm. Some people might get digital and then get a collector's edition. Just so they can play. If you're made of money. If you're made of money. So you can play day one. Are you going to play day one, Bentley? Mm, I'm not or sure. Or on the weekend? Uh, I don't know about day one. We'll see. Yeah. The collector's edition adds... 60 extra dollars to a $70 game. Yeah. So basically that's what the extra you're, play, you're yeah. paying for the collector stuff. I just want to grab that pro remote. That's the, that's the one. I know you are. You're really Jones one. enough. With that. I'm Jones on that one. I like that one white side. I just like controllers. We have a collection of Xbox controllers over here. And when there's one that hits my fancy, uh, mm -hmm. they don't make many pro controllers. Yeah. I, Nintendo doesn't make a lot of pro controllers. Let me digress for one other quick second here. One of the, um, old, not, yeah, there was a non OLED system that I really liked was a switch. It was mm -hmm. the monster hunter switch Yes, and the controller. I thought that was one of the best looking systems they've made. Yeah. That was nice. Remember that one with the gold inlay, the monster mm -hmm. hunter one. And we yeah. were like, Ooh, oh, that's I nice. That. Yeah. yeah. And I had to sell that to get the OLED. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It, it is what it is. Guys, 
Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you guys are excited about Tears of the Kingdom coming up Friday, guys. Friday. I know we're super pumped. Um, are you taking the day off? Are you taking the weekend off? Yeah. Are you taking the next month off? I have so much work to do. I wish I could take Friday off and just play Tears of the Kingdom, but that's just not going to happen. I'm going to have to have a late night uh, Friday night stash. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe Bentley and I can join in if uh, if we have some time, if he's free. But uh, let us know what you guys are doing. Let us know what you... Uh, you know what you look forward to coming up if you're going to play tears of the kingdom you can play something else uh mm -hmm. yeah let us know hit us up um on youtube you can hit us up at uh, gamer like dad on youtube and send us your questions you can also just send us an email um you can just email me directly at chris at a gamer like dad.com um that's one way to do it uh but uh yeah you can hit us up on youtube as well and uh we do have a discord which i'll share the link on this video um, if you guys want to hit us up on Discord, but we're still new at the Discord thing. So uh, we want to have one place where you can reach us that we're definitely going to check. <laughs> so there you go. Dad, where can, where can they find you? Uh, under a desk somewhere, usually. <laughs> um, sometimes in the tub. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it just, oh, it no. just depends on the day. All right. So Good for time. those who want to find him in the tub, where can they find you? <laughs> Elder Geek Gamer on YouTube. Elder Geek Gamer on YouTube. Guys, thanks so much. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.